with that. <clears throat> Apparently it's good for you. Oh, God, that smells. My nostrils have never been so flared. Can I just chug this? I guess you can do it that way. Yeah. What do you mean you guess? Yeah, you can do it. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very pretty, neutral, natural makeup tutorial. You guys have been loving my brown eyes and my non-overdrawn lips. So I thought I would give you a fresh, beautiful makeup look featuring those two things. Of course, it's still full coverage. It looks very... I, I like it. Do y'all like it? It's very fresh. It's clean. The skin looks like skin. It's highlighted. It's a little bit dewy. It's a little bit matte. It's a little bit of everything for everyone. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And without further ado, pause the video, subscribe, and let's just jump right into the tutorial. Hey everyone, so this is my skin naked. Let's address this friend right here. That's why people pose like this, because in case they get acne like me, it's covered. I'm gonna start with my skin extra clean, and I have been taking care of my skin. As you guys know, if you guys don't know, I have been doing laser to my face. I still have some spots to cover, but I've been doing microneedling, exfoliating, skincare day and night, and I'm very happy with my skin, and I hope you guys are too. By the way, I really wanna show you what my skin looks like before this picture was taken in Spain and this was taken yesterday this is my skin as of right now and I'm so happy with how it is as far as my cheeks and I love how I have been doing skincare and eating healthier that's what my skin looks like I love my skin and yeah first to prime the skin I'm gonna take the Smashbox photo finish primer I'm gonna use this to fill this is a new one I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use this just on my cheek area so for that HD effect on this skin, because I do have very porous areas right here on my skin, I like to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color 170, and I like shaking it up because the pigment seems to come to the bottom. You're going to shake it up, and you're going to apply it on the Beauty Blender, like so. And just I like to start on my cheeks. This process seems to take so long, but I love the way my skin looks whenever I use a beauty blender and the Makeup Forever HD foundation. It just looks so, so clean. Ugh, this pimple has to go. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my MAC Full Coverage HD foundation and I already went ahead and applied some, but I'm gonna apply a little bit more just on the bearded area because I do have some stubborn discoloration there and this will give a flawless look. This is of course optional. You guys know I do love a full coverage, but I will show you guys how to make it look natural. This is just a beautiful look for every day. I look a little orange, so I'm gonna take my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer and apply this underneath my eyes right here to counteract that. This concealer is so good. It literally reminds me of the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And of course, I'm gonna take it with my booty blender and blend it out. Voila, I don't look so orange now. Before I set my face, I'm gonna take my Benefit Processing My Brow Pencil. If you guys didn't see, I did a full brow routine. I'm just gonna lightly dust them. All right, so powder for the skin-like effect. I have found a new one that my friends have been raving about. This is the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder, and I'm making face expressions because I don't want my concealer to crease. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and just go right into the powder, like so. Oh, I'm just gonna go right, I always attack the under eyes first. Any pimples that you have, shoot. That is crazy. I feel like this technique gives it a more skin-like finish, which is why I feel like a lot of you guys really liked my last video with my eyebrow tutorial. If you guys want to see how I did these brows, y'all gotta check it out. It's coming together. Do you see it? I just realized I almost forgot to do my forehead. I've been obsessed with, like, glowy foreheads, so I'm gonna take the Cover FX Rose Gold Custom Enhancer Drops. This is literally my favorite. Ooh! No, not the turban. Usually I would do this before powder, but I forgot. And I'm just gonna take a dual fiber brush and buff it in. It is so pretty. And I'll still set it. And the thing is, if you powder it, when the powder like dusts off and you start to have your natural oils come through, the custom drops also comes through, which is really, really neat. And I'm not gonna beat the rest of my face. I'm only gonna do just the under eye and the middle part. So the outer side of my face has that like natural glow. 
So for the eyes, I'm gonna take one of my favorite palettes by e.l.f. This is the Matte for Matte number two. This has like all the transition shades you ever want in life. You have rose gold warms, neutral. So I'm gonna take these two colors right here, the third and fourth color, and the Matte for Matte number two palette and dust this in the crease of my eye. Oh, and the brush that I love is the M504 by Morphe. I cannot live without it. And that's it for the eye. <laughs> I mean, you can take this light color right here and just, like, I guess these first two colors just pad on the lid. But, you know, when you're in a rush, you know, but it got time. But this is pretty. You see that? That's pretty. I mean, we have the palette. Why not? This is one of my favorite eyeliners by Tarte. This is so good because it has a pencil side, which is super black. And on this side is a pen, also super black. I love this pen so much. This is the Tartus Double Take Eyeliner. And I'm going to draw the thinnest line ever with the pen side across my lid. And I'm only doing this to conceal the lash band. Now that my liner is done, look at what I have. I love this. This is the Lash Story Pro Edition Lash Holder from House of Lashes. Look, it holds so many lashes. So right now I have my three lashes. In case you guys want to know, this is Opulence by Lily Lashes. This one is Miami by Lily Lashes. And this one is Russian Black, one of my favorites by New Bouncing. And, and you can use the code PSTAR on all three. So as my lashes are drying, I'm going to take Maybelline's iconic Great Lash in the color Very Black. This mascara is so, so inexpensive. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to dust my lashes up. Everyone has to have this mascara. Now, again, for lashes, if it's your first time, take the mirror and place it down and look down. And then put, like, look down into the mirror and then start placing the lash on the middle like that. And then do the outside corner and then do the inside corner and put it as close to the liner. The liner really helps, you see? Conceal where the lashes go. And then you just want to push it up and hope for the best. Now, to bond the lashes, you can put your pinky on top of your false lashes and comb like this so your finger can catch it. That way, your lashes bonds to the real ones. This lash looks crazy. Not today, Satan. This is seriously the best eyeliner ever because I'm gonna take it and just push it right underneath the lashes to make it extra black. And it's double duty. You have the liquid and you have the pencil. It's the best. So to dust off all of the Dermablend powder, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. This is a foundation powder. I'm just gonna lightly dust the center of my face. I do like to concentrate on my cheeks because they're very porous. And you see how pretty the forehead is? I can dust a little bit, but not too much. Let's give it that fresh look. For under the eyes, I'm gonna take one of my favorite powders. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder in the color number two. And I'm gonna take it on a tulip brush and just press it underneath my eyes. Next, I'm gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus. I love this makeup look. Thanks for requesting that. I'm not done. I'm gonna take Give Me Sun by MAC and I'm gonna lightly bronze the outside of my face. Not too crazy. I just love how this looks, like how fresh and easy. I'm not pouncing a lot of powder. I do need a fuller coverage, but you will see with layers of like Fix Plus and liquid highlighter, it does end up looking fresh. <laughs> I was about to say natural. <laughs> Far from. Shall I do it? Shall I do it? I'm going to take some drops and just apply this on my cheeks. Right here. I just love this stuff. Yes, on top of powder, I'm going to do it. Y'all are probably asking, why are you highlighting that pimple? I'm asking myself the same question. I'm wondering why this mirror is so dirty and there's a plastic on it. Ugh, I thought my contacts were shifting in and I was like, wait, I have no contacts. Okay, now for a blush, because I want to keep this peach fresh theme going on, I'm going to take this blush Sweet Sweet Fantasy by Mariah Carey, but with MAC. I'm just going to take some blush and dust it off the back of my hand. So the brush picks up just enough, and I'm just going to pounce it just on the apples right here. You see that? Kind of like you flirting with a boy, but you ain't trying to get his attention, but you ain't. Something along those lines, you know? Next, I'm going to lightly snatch my nails using the JD Weighty 180 brush by Luxie Beauty. And I'm going to take Give Me Sun and snatch my nose just a little bit. Who am I kidding? A little bit? I love snatching my nose. So from the e.l.f. palette, I'm just going to dust a little bit of this dark rose shade. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth color over. I'm just going to put it underneath my lash line to create just some sort of dimension underneath. 
Let there be shadow. So, now that my face is pretty much done, I'm gonna finish the bottom lash line with Maybelline Great Lash. This mascara is so cute. I love it. So for a slight highlight, I'm gonna take my Becca Bronzed Amber. This, oh, this is so pretty. I'm gonna highlight just a little bit and a lot. I love me a shiny forehead. It just looks so pretty on the red carpet. Looks like I'm sweating. And then a little bit, I'm gonna take the Stila Bronze. This is like crack. I look, it's so pretty. Just on the tip, because you don't want to go too crazy when you got texture like me, okay? So sticking to the natural look, believe it or not, I am not going to line my lips. I'm just going to take this color, one of my new favorites by Tarte called Surf's Up from the Rainforest Collection. It's a beautiful color, and that's the finished look. I'm going to go ahead and change and be right back. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. This makeup look is literally for everyone. It is glam. It is fresh. I have my brown eyes. I have my non-overdrawn lips. Two things that I love to enhance, but two things I am starting to embrace. I love you guys so much. Try this at home. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you.